And now at six, new details in the massive apartment fire that broke out in Miami yesterday tonight. Police say the fiery scene may have been triggered by a shooting after a resident opened fire on a building employee. Police say the violent chain reaction forced dozens of people out of their homes as the building was quickly engulfed in flames. We saw it all yesterday. CBS News Miami's Nikaya Carrero joins us live from Jose Marti Park in Miami, where many of those residents are still receiving much needed help. Nikaya. That's right, guys. After losing everything in a multi unit fire, the residents of the Temple Court apartments were taken from a temporary shelter here at Jose Marti Park to a hotel. But they say the uncertainty that lies ahead is scary for a lot of them. We're going to bathe, we're going to sleep. Last night, we did not sleep. The Temple Court Apartments residents loaded onto a City of Miami trolley as the rebuilding process begins for them as they head to a hotel. I spoke with one woman who says it's a weight lifted off their shoulders. We are more calm. Thank you, everyone, who made everything possible. Over 40 people, most being senior citizens on Section 8 housing vouchers, lost all their belongings in front of their eyes. And the, the door is open and a window, and the fire, they come in, and they go the, the other building. They go live in the other, the other side, second floor, and the fire. This morning, people sat inside the temporary shelter at Jose Marti Park trying to figure out how they can gather what's left of their homes. One resident says she's lost 23 years of her life in that apartment. What you see me with is all I have left. City of Miami leaders say it's going to be a long road ahead as they check up on the residents Tuesday morning, with the priority for housing being those with health issues. This lady that, that has this on dialysis, we're going to prioritize her. And there's two other ladies that I know about that are uh, on, on cancer, they, they have cancer. Now, according to City of Miami Commissioner Miguel Gabela, the property management company has agreed to cover the cost for the hotel rooms for two weeks. He says in the meantime, the city will work diligently to find permanent housing for all the residents. In Miami, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.